Thank you, Emily. Well, picking out and carving a pumpkin, it's a huge tradition this time of year. Some pumpkin patches in the upstate are letting you pick your own and give to a good cause. Christine Scarpelli live this morning at a patch in Simpsonville with that information. Hey, Christine. Yeah, guys, the patch in Simpsonville, absolutely. Holy Cross Episcopal Church giving all the proceeds they receive here, the pumpkin patch to upstate nonprofits. This is a really neat thing, and we're not just talking a little pumpkin patch. As I look around, thousands and thousands of pumpkins here this morning, hundreds and hundreds of volunteers. It takes, of course, to unload those, many of them from right here. The churches, the nonprofits, the people of Simpsonville, they all do this. And it sounds like they have quite a bit of fun. I got to be honest, I think this could be neat, not just pumpkins here as well. Photographer Ryan is going to show you and pan a little to our gourds. Guys, lots of different options here. And as Randy, head of the pumpkin patch this morning, was really selling me on these, they can last all the way through Thanksgiving, right, Sarah? Making this really pretty? Absolutely. Sarah with the Holy Cross pumpkin patch here. Glad to have you letting us know where all the proceeds go. This all started, in fact, with the Greenville County Habitat for Humanity, building a house there. Very cool. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, it did. So it started in 2006 mm -hmm. um, as a ministry of Holy Cross Episcopal Church, just supporting um, funds for their habitat build. And then it just kind of grew from there. They decided that they could really give back to even more upstate nonprofits. Um, so, it's, so it's grown. This is its 11th year, its 12th season. Um, so yeah, we're really excited to have everybody out this year. Really neat, lots of different sizes of pumpkins as well. They're even priced by size here. Uh, really, really cool, a photo booth as well. But we want to tell you also about a pumpkin carving contest. That's part of this whole thing. And uh, you come here, now do you have to have one of the pumpkins from the patch for that? You do, and we'll give you a sticker when you buy it. Um, and then you'll carve your pumpkin, put it on Facebook, and you have to have the sticker from our patch. Um, to show that you bought it here, and that's what enters you into the contest. Now, winners from the contest, this is all Facebook voting, mm -hmm. I, it sounds like, uh, but, but you really do have to have a pumpkin from here, so they're going to look for that as well, but what do you win? It's a pretty big prize. So this is actually a national contest um, from the Pumpkins distributor, Pumpkins USA, and you actually win $10,000. The first place winner will win $10,000. Did we hear that, guys? $10,000. If that happens, I don't know, you may not see me the next day. So if I walk home with a pumpkin, I'm going to be working real hard. No, um, but that $10,000 does not impact these nonprofits, correct? Correct. So this is a national contest. That $10,000 comes from Pumpkin USA, the pumpkin supplier. Um, all of the proceeds here go directly to upstate nonprofits. 100%. And these guys have made over $200,000 over the whole time they've been open. So really, really impactful here. You heard from the Greenville Free Medical Clinic before they get a lot of those proceeds, able to do great things. We're going to hear a lot more about where that money goes this morning. Fred Tracy, are you eyeing any specific pumpkins? You want me to go ahead and load up anything for you? What do you think? Those gourds look good. I didn't know they lasted that long either. That's I, a good I option. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. We've got ours okay. already. My, right. my wife and daughter picked out a good one already. Oh, nice. Okay. You, you carve them? Do you guys do carving? You need more. We're more. We're more. Come back. I, I'm not sure. Sometimes we just paint. Sometimes yeah. we go for the full carving. Yeah, we'll I hear you. All right. Thanks, Christine. 524.